Hi everyone, it's Lily Bell from Melbourne, Australia. I hope you are all doing well. Um, right now my voice is okay, but it could could lose it in between filming. I'm still getting over a cold, so um, if I sound a little bit off, that's the reason. Now I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Now I will explain at the end of this video what happened to the other sea monkeys. Which sadly is my fault and I'm learnt. But I thought that why not make a sea monkey family with you all and do the steps involved. So this is my new tank. Now if you can remember what the old tank was, I will probably at the end of the video show you. It is three of those tanks fits one of these tanks that's very important and this is the reason one of the well I think the biggest reason why my sea monkeys died when I trans transported them into this now I know this is very close let me just hold this back a little bit <laughs> okay so we're going to be doing the original sea monkeys they're a hybrid you cannot get them in the natural life you know in in nature they're they're a hybrid and these are the original sea monkeys i've got three of these packets because i need you can see one two three one is a water purifier i need three of those and i'll be using three of the instant eggs and that's the growth food and then there's a booklet and a spoon but most importantly which i didn't do the first time i only used one of these for this tank is you've got to have the right amount of water because it's a salt it's got salt in it and that's where I think I went wrong so let me put this back down so <clears throat> first step is to open up the packets so this is one of the packets that has been opened so you get that and then you can see water purifier instant eggs is number two and the three is the growth food um, then you get this booklet, the original sea monkeys hand booklet, the world's only instant pets. And um, I might go through this with you later. Okay. Then you get in each pack a feeding spoon. And just a little bit. See that end there? Okay. I've also have this is um what is it to put air into the tank like this um because i'm not gonna invest in a um a pump you know so you do this and the more you do this the better I was sent this from the guy that sells these in Australia um, for free and this is what I used to catch my other sea monkeys um, because I thought I was saving them and unfortunately I didn't. Again, I will let you know what happens later. So this is also that but also can be used to um, aerate the water. Okay, so the first step is basically you need distilled water um so that is what this is okay those little things at the bottom they're called um i think they're called diamonds diamonds or something like that the sea monkeys actually play with them believe it or not and they actually move them around and stuff but I, apparently uh, i think also but don't quote me on this that they also help create um a bit of air and they look pretty i need to get some more Okay, this is really stuck together. So the first thing that you have to do is step one, obviously. And it's up to 24 to 36 hours. I'm going to make it 36 hours and I need to put three of these in. So I've just opened up one packet. I need to do the other two. So hold on one minute and I'll be back. Okay. Gee, that was stuck well together, I tell you. So I've got my three water purifiers which as I said if you're not actually going to be using the tank you need to work out um, exactly how many of these that you need or you will kill your sea monkeys 
Okay, so these are this is just the water purifier. So I'm going to open these up. I'm going to pop them in here and I'm going to gently mix it and probably aerate it. And then I'm going to put my clock on for 36 hours from now. Now, I was about to say, what time is that? Where's my phone? Uh -huh, I'm using my phone. Okay, so let's put the first one in. With this, I like it because it's bigger. And this top bit comes up. Hold on a sec. See this? That comes up and then closes down. So, and these literally were from Kmart in Australia. $10 free delivery. So, I like these way better than those tiny little things that you get from, um, in the kits, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to pull one in. Make sure it's all out. Not going to mix it around yet. I've got the second one. Now this one looks like it's been a bit wet. Look, it's not coming out. I'm not impressed with that. It should still look. It's wet. Look. See that, guys? Hmm. I'm just gonna pop it in it like that. It should still work. Just need to get as much out as I can. I've got that on video in case this doesn't work. Okay. Hopefully the next packet is not like no, it's it's fine. What's wrong with that one? Okay, and last packet. Again, make sure it's all out. Oof, it's all wet now. Okay. Clean up as I go. Got my eggs, see, and my food all there. Got enough food, trust me. Okay, I'm going to use this big, big thing. This is how you can transport them into another cage or you can aerate. And I'm just going to – this will eventually get clear. Um, I found – oh, sorry, I just <laughs> – um, I found that um, when you're first starting off is to do this at least three times a day. But of course, when you've got the eggs in here, do it a lot more gently. I kind of want to fill it up more because of my OCD. It looks way too, like. You know what I'm saying? But if I do that, I could I could literally kill them. So it's not really dissolving. I think it's because if you see down the bottom there, there's some big chunks. I think that's from the one that was wet. So I'm not really happy about that, but we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna mix it now. So that's the first step. As I said, um, 24 to 36 hours. We're going to go on the longer route. Hopefully by then I'll be a little bit more improved. It's just sitting up. I'm actually starting to feel faint. Okay, so indirect sunlight, perfect place. Right there. So starting from now, 36 hours, and I will see you. And we'll add the eggs, which is the exciting part. Hi everyone, it's Lily Bell, of course. Now, I said it, I was going to do, what, 36 hours and have it timed, which I did do. But that was the 26th, uh, actually just gone into the 26th because it was at night, the 26th of August. The date now is the 30th of August and it's almost 6 p.m. So without going into too much detail, obviously this is completely ready <laughs> and it's been well over 36 hours. It's been days. Um, let's just say I haven't been as well again with my ME and we'll just keep it at that. So I thought 
in case I get any worse because we just never know. I'm going to do the eggs right now and record it because it can take up to 10 days um, before you see anything really. Um, I might, I do have a little attachment for this phone that magnifies. I have not figured it out, have not tried it, but I may try it maybe on the 10th day because remember these are very small, especially when they're eggs, especially when they're babies. Um, but don't hold me to that because I've got to be well enough to figure it out. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I want to aerate the water because the more it's aerated, the better for the eggs. So I'm using this thing that I got from the lovely man that sells the sea monkeys in Australia. And this is what you usually use to transport sea monkeys into another thing. But you can also use it to aerate the water. You get more air, obviously, using a bigger bigger one. So I'm going to do this. Now remember, there's, there is no eggs in here, so I can do it. Quite roughly, I want to get as much air in here as I can because as soon as I put the eggs in, I need to be gentle. And this ain't gentle. Look at all that going around. Can you imagine? Okay. So I'm aerating it. We've got the salty solution already in here. And as I said, usually it's 24 hours or at the most 36. <laughs> and again, it's been a few days. It's Friday, Friday night here in Melbourne, Australia. Sorry guys, you can probably hear me. I'm just shaking the eggs down so I can get them down to the bottom of the packet. Okay, so that's the packet there. And I'm going to open it up and we'll first put the first slot in. And then we'll gently, I'm going to use, oh, I didn't bring it over. Well, we're going to ge gently have to use the, the aerator. Okay, so I think they have a little bit of blue dye in here because last time I remember dye coming out for the first time. So I've just opened it up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's all the eggs in there. So this is one packet going in right now. This is the start of life. Okay, there we go. It's going to get cloudy. I'm going to make sure I get as much of this out as I can. Okay, I might aerate in between um, packets because remember I'm doing um, I'm doing the, the, the three packets now. Do you see the blue? I don't think it's coming up much in here, but there is little bits, of, little bits of blue. I'm going to read up about that too. I want to know what that is, why they do that. Okay, nice and gently. As gently as you can with this big, huge thing. I need to stir. It's very hard because can you see down the bottom there? It's like it's not dissolved again. It will though, it will on itself. I just want to gently. So no matter how sick I am for the next 10 days, I will be aerating it like this at least twice day, morning and night. Right, so I definitely aerated that. So let's do the second packet and the third packet. If I tell you I'm exhausted and I'm laying flat and that's all I'm doing, will you believe me? <laughs> now, I can feel the eggs actually quite high in this packet. So I'm just, I'm just doing that, trying to get the eggs down. So that's what you're hearing. Okay, let's open this bad boy up. Okay. Mike's doing well. He's at home. I think I told you that. He's still on um, IV antibiotics. He was hoping to come off them on Thursday. It's Friday today, so yesterday, as he had an appointment at Monash Hospital um, uh, to see the surgeon. And no, he still has to stay on it, but he's doing well. No pain. Again, catch 22. That's the reason why he's got literally only four toes left. 
but at the same time I'm glad because I, I've seen what phantom pain can be like. So yeah, no pain, a little slow on the healing side, but that's Michael. But uh, yeah, he's got nurses coming every day to change his IV because it's like a 20, almost a 24 hour IV. So they come out in around 3 p.m. to the house and they change his IV, his hip line. And then they look at his foot, they dress it, make sure everything's okay, do up a report. And of course, he's got help that's coming in and he's getting extra help. Um, so thank God we live in Australia because I know in many countries, even many well-known countries, that, uh, yeah, you'd have to pay for that. And um, we don't, the only thing I think we have to pay for is like the bandages and stuff that... We get it at a discounted price, probably about $20 a month. So it's not much at all. Okay, guys, next. And Michael says to say hi, guys. I still haven't seen him because we're still like my dad, I, my mum especially, still full of a cold. So I have not seen him since before this happened. And since I feel terrible. But we do talk on the phone when I've been well enough. Okay, so the next lot of eggs are going in. Oh, do you see that? Wow. That's never happened. Did you see that, guys? I wish. They're all in clumps and they're all just rows to the top. Wow. And they're going from the bottom. And then they're going up. And there's a lot of blue. Wow. Do you think I should put three in? I'm a bit concerned now. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Just stir it gently. There's definitely blue dye in this. Can you see that? You, you can see that. Wow, there's big clumps here. I don't know if you can see that. How am I going to break that up? <laughs> All right, let's do this. Maybe if I... Oh, God. Oh, oh. It's in there. Ah. Don't kill the eggs before they even have a chance of living. Oh, this is exhausting. Now, it's going to be cloudy, but trust me, it will not. It will go clear like, yeah. But look how dark that's gone. That's definitely die. I'm so looking into that. All right, so that's that. I'm not sure if I... I don't know. I guess I do have to put the third one in because I put three sachets of the salt solution in. And if I don't do that, then it could kill them because it could be too salty. Oh, my God. I've got another one of these containers in case there's too many sea monkeys. <laughs> uh, this could be an absolute fail, guys. Uh, okay. Last lot. And I'm going to keep them here. And then during the day, I'll pop them on this, the windowsill. And they'll be in indirect sunshine. And take them off at night time because they do not like the cold. Okay, here goes more. Oh, it's going to be really cloudy and greeny blue. Okay. If anyone knows anything much about these, comment below and tell me what you know about them. This is really cool, I think, for kids. And now we wait and see what happens. So I will say now um, I'm going to pop this up maybe over the weekend and then I'm just going to film probably a couple of minutes every day for the next 10 days. I'm going to try and figure out the, the little magnifying glass thingy. Um, and after 10 days, I'll pop that footage together and see if we can see anything, see if the water's changed, the color. Again, everything's going to be very minute for a long time because they are hybrid creatures. They are smaller than the brim, I believe. That, that's what they are as brim, but they're hybrids. And uh, yeah, okay, guys, I must rest this jaw of mine and 
lay flat <laughs> um, and remember that uh, please try and love and respect yourself and others and if you're having a bad day please remember there's always tomorrow please reach out if you're really struggling there's always some professional you can call no matter what country you're, you're in you can reach out on the line you can reach out to a friend or even a stranger and it's not a sign of weakness. In my eyes, it's a sign of strength. It's a sign of bravery. So God bless everyone and take care. Lots of love from Melbourne, Australia. Lily Bell. Mwah. I just gave you a kiss. <laughs>